Okay guys, so today on Snowwalker Outdoors, we're going to talk about how uh, I actually pack my toboggan sled. And just remember, this is just a suggestion, and this is just one way of packing a toboggan. So essentially, um, what we're going to do is we're going to pack this toboggan today. And of course, the amount of gear that you're going to carry is going to greatly be influenced by the length of time that you're going to be out there. Maybe you're just doing a training hike uh, for, you know, building up your legs and things of that nature. Uh, or maybe you're going out for a week's camping. So you're going to need those provisions um, to help you along the way. So let's say this is a basic uh, overnight or maybe two day or, or something of that nature. Um, and we're going to carry a stove, we're going to carry our tent, our sleeping gear, tools that we need, our saws, our axes, uh, extra clothes, some food, some cookware and things of that nature. Uh, eight foot toboggan sled, nine foot toboggan sled, and uh, about eight feet of usable space um, on it. So. We're going to start by putting uh, our hard objects on either end of the toboggan. This way what it does is it allows us to put our soft uh, items, our duffel bag um, and or um, any other softer materials in the middle so they're protected on at least uh, two sides uh, and they'll be contained within the sled bag that we have. I don't have a tank but uh, we'll uh, go ahead and go with that. So we're going to start with the stove. We're going to put that on the back. We're going to put the stove upside down because it has a tendency to have We don't want them to go lines on either side. We don't want them to cut that. We also don't want to need any gouges in the bottom of our toboggan if we can handle it or if we can help it. So I'll take a piece of carbon fiber because I'll use that as a shield between the stove and my tent, uh, much like a reflector. We'll put that on top. And then I'll take a bungee because this will be in more than one time. This will be held down and just hold it in place right there. This way it'll protect any straps that'll go over the top of the stove and you'll see that. Next, we're going to take my milk crate, which winds up being the winter trekker's best friend because that in and of itself will be your makeshift seat, uh, if anything. You're not carrying a chair, so you'll have that. But I'll also put my cook stove um, or my cook implements, my bush pot, my frying pan, things of that nature, my utensils in here, along with, you know, provisions and supplies as well. So we'll do that. Now we have this amount of space in between to use for our soft gear. In here, this is just a sled bag that I used in my toboggan sled. Uh, if you remember the series of videos I did traveling by uh, use with dogs in the winter time. This was in the toboggan sled. Um, this carried a lot of gear. Sadly, we don't uh, run dogs anymore, and uh, we lost Tonka over the uh, the summer. So uh, we just have to repurpose and use some things. So we'll use this for the time being, and it'll hold uh, a lot of gear that we need while we're out there. So let's take a look at this real quick. things of importance in here. Uh, we have sleeping pads. We take a minimum, a minimum of two sleeping pads while we're there. So we have our first one, we have our second one here. There's also a set of poles, trekking poles in there to help us while we're moving. We have our sleep system. This is a zero degree bag here from Snug Pack that we'll be using. We always have the shovel in the back country. You know that from previous videos. In this duffel bag right here, we have our tent. We have our, um, our poles for our tent. We also have our axe and our saw and other tools here. Uh, on the bottom in the back is a first aid kit. There's some extra rope here as well. 
um, all things that you would need while you're in the back country um, doing some winter camping. So we can actually zip this up right now. Again, it all depends on the amount of time you're going to be there, what your plans are, and what you're going to be doing is going to dictate your gear. I have enough room right here where I can take my day pack. And my day pack is going to contain all the rest of my essentials. My extra gloves, my extra wool socks, maybe a sweater, um, things of that nature. My compass, my headlamp, um, the rest of my kit, my cordage, things of that nature. Water bottle, extra water bottle. However, again, dictating what's in there. Some emergency webbing, carabiner, and uh, and there we go. So we're gonna stick that on here as well, and this will stay in place. So now the only thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our webbing and we're gonna start to lash the load to the toboggan. Here's our last point, and we're just simply going to run our webbing through here. And we'll go to every, we'll go to every other brass ring and simply make it just like you're lacing up a pair of shoes. Cinch everything down, make sure it's all in place, and it's ready to go. If we really wanted to, we could beaner that to there. Take my snowshoes, an extra set and I have a big bungee here I usually tie it off in a girth hitch on the one side and I clip it in there and now we're set to go so that's it just a very basic way to load a toboggan sled or at least one basic way to do it uh, again it's just a suggestion it's just how um, you know I kind of keep my thing uh, in there you can tuck different things down in there you can put things on the top uh, a lot of guys use a top bag I don't happen to have a top bag right now um, I may purchase one of those or I may make one or I may not even worry about it and, and just kind of go with it so uh, many different ways many different ways to do it you just got to find the way that works for you so brian from snowwalker outdoors thanks for your views and your comments until the next one know before you go and walk the woods